OK, so federal parliament is back for 2023 there to solve all our problems, of course. And if you thought it was a madhouse before, wait till you see this year play out, especially after what unfolded today. Until today, Labor couldn't get anything through the Senate without its own votes and the Greens' votes and this bloke's vote. After however long of the bullshit that Australians uh, order, have had Senator to... Senator Pocock, that language is not parliamentary. I ask that you withdraw. Yeah, Senator David Pocock, the former rugby player, a kind of walking climate alarmist cliche. He's been arrested at climate protests and all the rest of it. But as of today, for the government to get laws through the Senate, they'll need their own votes, the Greens' votes, Pocock's and former Green Lydia Thorpe. I mean, it's frightening to think about who the critical people will be in the Senate. All of our votes across the nation, all of our institutions, all of our collective intelligence, and it comes down to Senators Thorpe and Pocock carrying the day in the Senate. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Yeah, this is because Thorpe, the aggressive, rash Victorian firebrand, has quit the Greens to sit as an independent committed to Indigenous sovereignty. She hates that the Greens might back an Indigenous voice rather than follow her extreme views. Now I will be able to speak freely on all issues from a sovereign perspective without being constrained by portfolios and agreed party positions. She can speak freely now? She's been constrained? I don't think any of us have seen any evidence of the senator holding back. This is a war! They are killing our men! Yeah. And they are still raping our women! What a shocker. Now, the thing here is that Thorpe was elected as a Green. She's only in Parliament because of that party. She, of course, should be free to quit the party. But I reckon any politicians resigning from their party should also resign from the parliament. I mean, if they think they can be elected under their own banner, this so-called black sovereignty banner, then go ahead. Try that. But otherwise, they're fraudulently using a seat that was won by people voting for a particular party that they no longer line up with. I said the same, by the way, when Cory Bernardi quit the Liberals. Now, nothing will happen, of course. Thorpe is set to serve six years in a seat won by the Greens and she'll now be even more of a loose cannon. That'll make life tougher for the Albanese government, although if they're smart, they'll try and do more deals with the Coalition or maybe Jackie Lambie or Pauline Hanson rather than with Pocock and Thorpe. And it's not going to be good for the country, any of this. But what a hypocrite Thorpe is. If Thorpe doesn't accept the sovereignty of this nation, what is she doing sitting in our Senate and drawing more than $200,000 a year in salary from our sovereign taxpayers.